Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the 1st of January 2023. I hope you all saw the new year in and had a lot of fun and are looking forward to the new year. Me, I'm a little rough and ready today. We did our traditional stay up and watch the Sydney fireworks on TV and I had a couple of pims. I'm not much of a drinker so I'm feeling the effects or after effects of a couple of pims. Um, we don't do much on New Year's Eve because for about 20 years in hospitality I worked it as a manager and saw many New Year in with a few drunks. So yes, we tend to stay home and just watch the fireworks on TV and have a drink to celebrate the New Year. So, it is time, being the 1st of January, to travel. Are you ready to travel? Have you packed your yarn and decided on your project? because it is time for hashtag yarn vacation AU. So today in Cairns, it's a little overcast. We've had quite a bit of rain this week and we are climbing aboard Broomstick Airways and heading towards the UK. We will be there in the blink of an eye. Unlike when I normally travel on an aeroplane and it takes me about 24 hours to get there. So, I dropped hints that it was going to be the UK and it was a subscriber and not a podcaster who submitted this particular place we are going to visit. Our first place. So here goes. I have a few notes. We are off to da -dun, da -dun, Lancashire. It's a historic county, ceremonial county, a non-metropolitan county in the northwest of England. Lancashire. Population estimated to be 1.5 million. The capital is Preston. Ooh, I'm excited. I have never been to Lancashire. This county flower is the red rose, a beautiful red rose. Whether, well, if you're making a temperature blanket or even a temperature snake, the weather ranges from about in January, daily average is 7 Celsius or 44.6 Fahrenheit and rarely falling below 2 Celsius or 35.6 Fahrenheit. The coldest days in Lancashire in February and the warmest days are in July and usually a range in July between 13 Celsius, which is about 55.4 Fahrenheit and 19 Celsius, 66.2 Fahrenheit. My time of year, July. Famous people born in Lancashire. Sir Ian Murray McClellan. Bo McClellan, I can never say his surname. Born in Burley, 25th of May, 1939. is an English actor. His career spans seven decades, having performed in genres ranging from Shakespearean and modern theatre to popular fantasy and science fiction. He played Gandalf in Lord of the Rings trilogy. You might remember him. He came out as a gay in 1988 and has since championed LGBT social movements. Now the second famous person you may not know by name, but you may remember his face and he is one of my favorites. I don't know why. Stephen James Pemberton, born in Blackburn, born 1st of September, 1967. Comedian, director and writer. He is best known as a member of the League of Gentlemen. He co-wrote with Reese Shearsmith and starred in the anthology series Inside Number Nine. Now I can't remember if this is Netflix or Fox. I did watch it because it's my sort of thing. It's black comedy and a little macabre, but I loved it. And if you're into that sort of thing, I highly recommend that you check out Inside Number 9. I tend to binge watch those sort of things. Attractions in Lancaster. We're there for two weeks. You can visit St Anne's Beach with its pier walks and kids amusement by the sea. You can visit Lancaster Castle, imposing 12, imposing 12th century castle and prison. That could be interesting. Williamson Park, a public space which includes a butterfly house. I love butterflies. Blackpool Zoo, a large animal park with animal experiences. 
The Rutherford Hall and National Trust Old Tudor Hall with Shakespearean connections. There's just a few tourist things you can go and see while checking out the countryside. Now as far as food goes, one of the most famous things is a Lancashire hot pot. My mother used to make this when I was a lot younger and she was still alive and I loved it. And I have thought of making it here but I'd have to turn the air conditioners down to freezing to really enjoy it. It's a stew originating in Lancashire or northwest England. It consists of lamb or mutton and onion topped with sliced potatoes or traditionally with pastry or puff pastry. It's baked in a heavy pot slowly in the oven on a low heat. I'm starting to feel hungry. I think that'd be nice. We're actually having a barbecue this afternoon. That's tradition too. Thing cooks a barbecue on New Year's Day. So I get the night off because I have one more day and then I go back to work. So to inspire your project, the red rose, Google some red rose images. There are beautiful vary, varying reds you could use, but any red rose picture will inspire your project. The gay pride flag with all its rainbow colors that should inspire you. Um, it's so bright and colourful, how can it not? Today's temperature as I record this video in Preston, Lancashire, range from 1C, 33 Fahrenheit, to 6C, 42 Fahrenheit. It's pretty cold there today and possibly snowing. So you know, there's a beautiful, you can Google any of the attractions I have mentioned. You could look at the countryside, be inspired by the colours of the countryside, the red rose, the gay pride flag. There is lots there to inspire you, including the temperatures. Now, it was an option if you wanted to start your project with my hometown. You didn't have to, you could start it today. And I actually started mine because I have decided to make the crochet boa snake. This one. This will be my project. And I've started him with where the rainforest meets the reef. So that's the blue of the reef and a couple of different colours for the rainforest. Ta-da! He's my snake. This is Trev the Travelling Snake. I am now tempted to make another smaller snake and make it a temperature snake and call her Temperance the Travelling Snake. Who knows? I, I always get sidetracked making way too many things and end up with way too many whips. But there you go. That's my project for our travelling yarn adventure. Now Links to the crochet boa snake pattern will be in the description below. I will also put a um, link to a Lancashire hot pot recipe if you want to make it. And if you do, please share your photos with us and tell us what you think of it. Especially if you're in the northern hemisphere and suffering the cold, it's a reasonably priced meal that is filling and comforting. Um, also, if you Considering doing a temperature snake or temperature blanket, I did do up with Reeves a um, temperature chart as a guide and there is a PDF. Now it is on our in our Facebook group page where you can download it. I will try and attach it to this video if you're interested or just use your own guide. It was just there to help a few people who had inquired about a temperature chart. What else is there? Now, don't forget, to hashtag your pictures on Instagram with Yarn Vacation AU. The AU is important because that's how I find you. You can post them in our Facebook group page. You can use the same hashtag, so I know that's it. Now remember, the Facebook group page is not just about the make along. You can post pictures to anything to do with craft, crochet, knitting, painting, um, and share them with our fellow members because there's always something interesting that pops up. You can also email me your pictures if you don't do social media and you can or cannot give me permission to share them or if you prefer not to, don't. 
Now remember there's a participant prize each month of a $25 gift voucher and twice a month I will come on and give you a new location. So our yarn vacation starts in Lancashire, UK. You have two weeks to enjoy it before we take off on the 15th to our next vacation spot. So it should be fun. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I really enjoyed looking at Lancashire. I have never been to that area. Um, I've been to the UK a lot, so that might have to go on my bucket list now for next year. Because talking to my son in London, I'm missing him and I think it's time to make a trip to the UK. So guys, I hope you have fun. I hope you really enjoy the make along and jump on board. It's really easy. It's designed to be a scrap um, user or a stash buster. You could always do a scrap project with the make along and enter it into Soxy Nana's year long scrap make along. Now I will put the proper hashtag and a link to her video in the description below and think about you know dual purpose you're in my make along and you can jump in with Alice at Soxy Nana and do hers with your scraps. So ta da Trevor and I say enjoy your vacation don't forget to do your crafting and enjoy your crafting and we say goodbye for now. <laughs>